Hi guys, welcome to Science Display channel. In this video, I'm going to explain conservation of momentum with the Newton cradles. I'm going to use three different Newton's cradle. I hope so you will enjoy it. This toy, the Newton's cradle, and this is the five ball Newton's cradle. There is also seven balls Newton's cradle. And this is the new design glass ball Newton's cradle. And when I release the one ball from here, when it hits the other four balls, it will affect only one ball, as you see here. When I release two balls, it will affect the from other side two balls. And if I apply the same thing for the three balls, it will be three from the other side. And if I do the same thing for the four balls, look at that. At the beginning, the four ball they are stationary, and when I release this, four stationary. And if I release four balls and one is stationary now, you are going to see only one ball stationary. This explains the conservation of momentum, and we can try it with the other Newton's cradle. This is the metal one. Let's do with only two balls. You can see the same effect. Yes, this is the seven balls Newton's cradle. Now I'm going to do it one by one with the balls. I'm going to release one ball. Look at that, it's going to affect the another side, other one ball. Yeah. Now I'm going to make the same thing with two balls, with three balls, with four balls. With two balls. Two by two. We do it with the three balls. Three by two. No, three by three. And now four balls, four by four. Yes, from both sides. If I release one ball, but I have to do it at the same time. Look at that. And I will try it with the two balls. And I will try it with three balls for both sides. Yes, this explains to us conservation of momentum.
Thanks for watching Science Display Channel. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like for the our videos. See you again.